Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. We celebrate today the second day of our Triduum to commemorate the 444th anniversary of Manila as Diocese. We will also expose today for public veneration the relic from the bones of St. Dominic de Guzman, founder of the Order of Preachers and considered one of the patrons and protectors of Manila. Our presider for this Mass is Reverend Father Clarence Victor C. Marquez of the Order of Preachers, Rector and President of Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to, all to Almighty my God and, and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, and I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, who were pleased to enlighten our forebears by the preaching of our blessed Father Saint Dominic, grant we pray that glorifying in the name of Christian, we may show continually in our deeds the faith that we profess. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, through Jesus, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of lips that confess His name. Do not ne neglect to do good and to share what you have. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. Obey your leaders and defer to them, for they keep watch over you and will have to give an account that they may fulfill their task with joy and not with sorrow, for that would be of no advantage to you. May the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, Jesus our Lord, furnished you with all that is good, that you may do his will. May he carry out in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint, anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and sought. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boats by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many, com and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like a sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ikalawang araw ng ating triduum sa pagdiriwang ng ikaapat na raan at apat na apat na taon ng pagkatatag ng diocesis ng Maynila noong taon 1579. Sa ilalim ng unang ubispo nito, si Padre Domingo de Salazar, misyonerong Dominico. Paano nga ba ang pinakamainam 
na paraan ng paggunita sa yugtong ito sa kasaysayan ng ating bayan at ng ating simbahan. May panukala ang ebanghelyo natin para sa araw na ito. Una, pahinga. Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. Lumayo muna tayo at magpahinga. Sa matandang tipan, nakapaloob na ang diwa ng banal na pahinga tuwing araw ng Sabado at tuwing taon ng Hubileyo. Tumitigil sa paggawa, wala munang abala, pinagpapahinga ang lupa, pinapatawad ang mga utang at kasalanan, inaalala ang paglilikha ng Diyos. Ganon din sa diwang Kristiyano, ang lohika ng araw ng linggo. Ang pagtatakda ng isang araw para sa Panginoon. Pag-uwi sa pamilya, pananatili sa tahanan, pagsamba sa Diyos, paghinga ng malalim sa Espiritu Santo. Take note, banal na pahinga, hindi tamad na pagtunganga. Ikalawa, paggawa ng mabuti. His heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. Ang tunay na pagdiriwang ay hindi lang ang panlabas at mababaw na kasiyahan, hindi lang ang paparty-party, kundi ang pagbabagong loob tungo sa kabutihan, sa pagkakawang gawa at pakihipagkapwa. Sa okasyon ng ikaapat na raan at apat na apat na taon ng diosesis ng Maynila, nabiyayaan tayo ng pagdalaw ng mga relic Gamit, damit, bahagi ng katawan ng mga banal na pintakasi ng Maynila, sina San Francisco de Assisi, Santo Domingo de Guzman, Santa Rosa de Lima. Magbibigay galang at parangal tayo sa kanila. Hahalik, papahid, hihingi ng grasya. Ngunit, Pagkatapos nun, ano na? May magbabago ba sa atin? O babalik din sa dating gawi at lumang ugali? Sa dalawang aral ng Ebanghelyo natin ngayon, mas mabisa at may talab kung ang pagdiriwang ay may tamang timpla ng banal na pahinga at pagpapakita ng habag sa kawan ng tupa. Kapag maguukol tayo ng panahon para huminto, huminga, manalangin sa Diyos. Kapag sa paglabas natin ng gusali ng simbahan, gagampanan natin ang pagiging kasapi ng simbahan. Ang paggawa ng mabuti, pagtulong sa aba, pagmamahalan. Hindi lang tungkol sa nakaraan ang pagdiriwang na ito. Ating kilalanin at ipagpasalamat ang biyaya ng kasalukuyan, ang buhay ng simbahan at ang buhay na simbahan ng Arkeodiosesis ng Maynila. Ang paglago, pagdami, 
ang patuloy na paglalakbay ng mga sumasampalataya. At sa diwa ng sinodo na umiihip sa simbahan ngayon, tayo ay nakatanaw din sa hinaharap, sa pangako ng Diyos, sa katuparan ng propesya, sa pagsapit ng kaharian ng Diyos, sa pagbuo sa sangkatauhan, sa kaligtasan ng mundo. Maligayang kaarawan, Arkodiosesis ng Maynila, magpahinga at magpatuloy sa pagpapastol sa kawan. Please stand. Aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, we approach God the Father in humble prayer. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, Almighty God, that these sacrificial offerings of your people, which we bring you in commemoration of Blessed Father Dominic, you may graciously mingle with the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hangga. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the peace of Jesus Christ. Peace be with you.
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. As we rejoice at the feast of Blessed Father Dominic, we have received the pledge of eternal redemption, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ngayong ikalawang araw po ng ating paghahanda, ng ikalawang araw ng triduo uh, na inilalabas din natin ang labi ni Santo Domingo 
nararapat lang na isa sa mga anak ni Santo Domingo ang magbahagi at mamuno sa ating pagdiriwang. Kaya pinasasalamatan po natin si Father Clarence Marquez, ang ating kapitbahay po mula sa Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Kasama na rin po ang pamayanan ng Universidad, ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran, na nakisama at nagbahagi sa ating, sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong araw na ito. Palakpakan po natin sila. Tomorrow will be the third and last day of our Triduum with the exposition of the relics of St. Francis of Assisi, which will be presided by Reverend Father Eduardo Mayo of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchins tomorrow at 10 a.m. And on Monday, February 6, the 444th establishment of the Manila as a diocese will also be the closing, closing mass and the closing of the Jubilee door to be presided by His, Card by His Eminence, Cardinal Jose Advincula, at 6 p.m. Magsama-sama po tayo at magkita-kita po tayo muli sa mga susunod na pagdiriwang na ito at samahan niyo po kami dito sa ating Mother Church dito po sa Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
siyang beer na may butter <laughs> pero butter beer ano dag dun sa atin yung ano? peanut butter mm. <laughs> Luigi Luigi <laughs> Luigi marunong magamit ang magiswan dito sa Japan
オウムのように曲がったくちばしを持つこのプシッタコサウルスは角を持つ恐竜の中では最も小柄でキロリウの祖先と考えられていますプシッタコサウルスはプロトケラトプスやプリカラトプスと同じ装飾恐竜の仲間です Ibang world dano. Oh. 